A football field in Winnipeg is a long way from the dangerous roads and villages of Afghanistan, but a bond between a local team and a Canadian Forces soldier is an inspiration to both. Sean Cavanaugh has more. The Crescentwood Grizzlies warm up with the same kind of passion you'd see in the pros. But the team has another inspiration that goes beyond winning. They're short one of their coaches. Sort of they dedicated the season to the troops, and so it's been outstanding support. Captain Vic DeWall missed this season. He's serving overseas in Afghanistan, but he's taken a little of the Grizzlies with him. This flag has seen duty all around the war-torn country. I've been uh, flying it. Um, I've been taking photos with uh, our QRF. Um, it's gone to the Dalla Dam. It's been to Sariposa Prison. Um, it, it's, it's sort of, it's been on the parade of flags. And the team has watched the flag's journey through Afghanistan in pictures DeWall has emailed. Coach Bill Noyes and some other Grizzlies officials decided they would honor their fellow coach the same way. They flew the Canadian Forces flag at a game in Winnipeg. It's a rallying cry uh, for us, having the flag today. The flags and Coach DeWall are having an impact on the young football players. He's awesome and he teaches us lots of stuff about tackling and how to nail other people. <laughs> DeWall can't wait so. to get back to Winnipeg. I missed, well, I missed watching them, I missed watching my son play. DeWall's son, Braden, also plays on the Grizzlies. Uh, I don't like it that much because it also means he's away from being at home and I haven't seen him often. DeWall says the bond with the team has helped his morale and given the players something to think about. It's just good that, you know, we have our young, young uh, citizens aware of, of the sacrifices our soldiers have made over here. Captain DeWall will soon become Coach DeWall again. His team just won their first playoff game on Sunday, and he should be home in time for the next big game. Sean Cavanaugh, CBC News, Winnipeg.